Last time on Game Grumps. Have you ever thought of how funny <laughs> the word exploit is? Exploit. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm going to exploit. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like when, like, like slime, like, pulls up and then drips down. Just exploit. Like, oh, he exploited. <laughs> I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance I could pencil it in. <laughs> I have a 3.30 that I could skip. And a death without meaning is unappealing. Damn, this is different. Has this ever been a visual style? No. Damn, dude. Damn, 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 damn. He's such a jerk. <laughs> yeah. So like he's already killed eight of your friends and then he's like, smell you later, quads. <laughs> like, Come on, man. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the game Grumps. Uh... B boom, we're back, baby. Boom, we're back. It's Game Grumps. We're back. Hello. Good to see you. And this is exciting because uh, Hina's alive, but anyone else might be dead now. That's true. And oh, that's, that's always that's fun. Right. It was only Hina when we went to the dining hall. She seems very excited yes. for that to be the case. <laughs> <laughs> I, I seemed excited? No, no, Hina does. <laughs> yeah, it's true. She's like, wow, everyone's dead. Awesome. That means I could probably be the one to get out of here. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Oh, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure is this guy's blue. <laughs> uh, hey, Hina. All right. Great. Um, you really had me worried. You know what happened to you last night? Worried? Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know, <laughs> murdered. Sleeping. I mean, not that that actually <laughs> happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know, murder you. Why is that like Yeesh. so off topic in the murder school? <laughs> like, I don't want to <laughs> say it. It's like, well, I'm sorry. You're probably gonna yeah, have this to see somebody dead coyness. in like 30 minutes. Yeah, 70 percent of everyone in this school is dead now. <laughs> so anyway, what were you doing? Uh, I was jerking off. I mean, I was sleeping. I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come to get me? Did something happen? Mm, well, we thought you were jerking off, so. Well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let me go meet up with- Oh, we never had. <laughs> so, is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? Oh, yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? I lost the rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Uh, okay, sure. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? <laughs> it's a little strange. How did they- would they call also, each other? Also, why would- Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Why'd she ask you to help carry stuff if she was just like, Bye! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess they were trying to get him, but his door wasn't- They literally explained it in the same breath. Correct. Mm, that's fine. Yeah, uh, that's fine. <sighs> Jim! Or a I wish there was somebody named Jim here so I could be like, Jim's in the gym! <laughs> it's the Jim Jim! <laughs> yeah, and then we could have some ice cream and then put Jimmy's on it so we'd have some- we'd be having Jimmy's in the gym with Jim. Ah, there he is! <laughs> Jimmy's in the Jim Jim! <laughs> <laughs> this is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. <laughs> Jeez, to show up now like it's no big deal. You made us stay up all night while you slept like a b -b 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 baby in your bed? Just like Hina said, everyone was there besides Kyoko, and then I noticed they'd formed a circle around something as soon as I saw what that something was. What the? Before I could catch myself, I'd cried out. Whoa. Whoa, damn. Didn't expect that. Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. The smartest of us was working on his mechanics. <laughs> what does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? <laughs> but I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not in the face. What the fuck? Yeah, it did. Where has everyone been? Yeah, yo, what Relax. the fuck? <laughs> There's no danger. You say that, but what is this? What are you guys doing? Let's discuss. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you stay how can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Hey, come on. 
Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. I like like you. <laughs> Yucka! Found this little fella laying around, and then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try to talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. Like a Furby that hasn't learned Furbish yet? <laughs> I... Are you serious? <laughs> I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So immediately, I initiated the dis the dis the dis the, dis <laughs> the breakdown process. It was masters. It's a stroke of genius. A chance to. I just straight up Porky Pig that line. <laughs> it's my chance to dis 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 one thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. Oh, you think so? You, th there, you think the animated talking multiple... bear that can do anything is a sophisticated machine? Yeah, and can go anywhere. <laughs> uh, would, weren't, weren't there multiple ones? Because the first one exploded, yeah. right? So yeah, I don't know. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? <laughs> Not me! But besides that, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as to what we were, as, as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down, so he must have broke up! Then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? They were probably so scared of Master they ran away in terror. Or maybe they got sick or something. <laughs> but Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that if not the Mastermind? Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey, guys, I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. I just found something. What is it? It's bomb-like, and it looks like a bomb. It's got a timer like a bomb would have, and it explodes like a bomb. It's... Any ideas? <laughs> it's what? A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. A b -b 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 bomb That's super bad! We need to get rid of it! Um. Roger that. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. Motion sensor for serious? Oh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Hey, get it together! You're a man, aren't you? And man's are supposed to explode. Yeah, big, big, strong, tough, explodable man. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh, 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 uh. You're so <laughs> not fine. You're all. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. So put your uh, 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 away. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! Jeez, don't scare me like that. Hilarious joke. Yeah, he did the uh, he did an opposite. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, he did. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. I love that face. It's so they're gonna, funny. Yeah, they're gonna end up together. <laughs> uh, they're, they're like the they're like the people in '80s movies who hate each other the whole movie and then make out in the last mm -hmm. scene. Hey, come on, the century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. <laughs> Whatever, just to hurry up and put the bob down and hang it on to it's not gonna do you any good. Um. Uh, yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Except for the loud ticking. Yeah, right? Hero put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at that point. <laughs> my eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could that have been when I thought about it? Huh. Oh shit! I couldn't help but think back to the night before being attacked by that masked figure. I kind of like, like doing spider hands above my body, like spider little <laughs> spider crawling on you. 
Why are we spider too? <laughs> hey, uh, Makoto. Huh? Hey. Don't hurt us. Did you hear a thing we just said? Huh? <laughs> That didn't know. What are you, some kind of brain dead farm animal? Sorry. We were saying since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? And we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try and uncover the mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance. Wouldn't you agree? B but if the mastermind comes back while we're in there. If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Like a b -b -b bitch. <laughs> or go live in the chicken co-op with all the other chickens. You can be chicken <laughs> number six. <laughs> Such ignorance. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. We're going up against the satanic evil chicken. <laughs> Chicken number 666. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anything else, but we have a chance now. Come on. To kill each other. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away? Or are you going to fight? You're going to run away like a little baby boy, like a little baby, baby hippopotamus. The baby hippopotamus. Tiny chicken bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'll go with you. Okay, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. I'll follow you anywhere, Master Tall. That's the uh, earth. <laughs> Sucker, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man, and I can do this. I'm a man. I'm 40. <laughs> I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. We each found determination in our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. So let's Oof, go there that's now. That's exciting. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really curious. Get out of my way, everyone! I'm going to the place that we're all going. Rattle, rattle. It's locked, as expected. So what are you gonna do? Isn't it obvious? We're going to tear this door off its hinges with dance. <laughs> Wait, what the rules say? <laughs> Fuck. We've seen that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But, but like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up while we were in there, in other words, then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but... We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed that this is what we have to do. So we have to do it. <gasps> so beautiful! I mean... For serious? <laughs> so beautiful, so wonderful. We don't have any choice. So chill. We're desperate. So fresh. So dozy. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually. Okay, but how are we going to do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh. Oh, oh, oh what about that one thing? Ah. The thing in the tool shed. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> it's hammer time. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> we left the gym. No, it's, it's pickaxe time. <laughs> it was just before nine o'clock, so it's probably nine on the dot now. It's all clear now. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back here by 901. That's straight up unreasonable. Uh, uh, by myself? Naturally. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? Well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. You know how much time it took you to say that? 10 seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. Unacceptable! With that, Toko ran oh off loud as a herd of rabid elephants. <laughs> For serious though, are we just gonna knock this door down? No problem solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. <laughs> like my sacred stones? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, like my <laughs> prayer stones? <sighs> no. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, he's right. 
I can't find my stones either. Can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying oh. to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. That's right. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Take it from me, probably dead Kyoto. Yeah. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Can you look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? <laughs> <laughs> she came down in a bubble, dog. Even if it's dangerous. <laughs> Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Um, maybe, but but I'm still super stressed. Yeah, yeah, we're all stressed, hero. We're all stressed. Not chill and relax like our dead friends. <laughs> I'm so tense, I can hardly talk. I'm all flubbest. No, I'm totally flabbag, flapstaff, <laughs> flappy jack. <laughs> Damn it, flapstaff. Uh, <laughs> gross. Where'd that come from? Wait, Genocide Jill? Where'd you come from? Hello, hello! It's the wonderous murder, murderous feed here to greet you with a razor sharp smile! Yeah! Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Seeping imbecile? Oh, master! You wow me with your executive level barbs! <laughs> Wound me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here comes the bloody nose. Seriously though, did you really forget the pickaxe? <laughs> Omega three fatty acids. That's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. So you could just go get the pickaxe yourself. <laughs> yeah. You lazy dude. It's been ten minutes. Uh, nothing has happened. Mm -hmm. Ah, the light bulb just went on! That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe! Alright, we've solved one mystery, that means there's just one more mystery left! One more mystery? Yup, now we need to figure out the identity of Object X! So, um... Um... Now what are you talking about? <laughs> Did you already forget what we were talking about? You're like missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? Corpus. Did you hear me? I said corpse. A corpse. Oh no. That's right. I found a corpse in the garden. No, not Kyoko. Please, God, no. <laughs> God, no, 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 no. <laughs> No! <laughs> you found a corpse in oh, the garden? Oh, man. What did you say? Well, then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Oh, my God. No. Just go into the headmaster's room. Jesus. Didn't... Weren't you the one who said there's no time to waste? Come on. Yeah. We're going to the garden. Okay. Ugh. Damn it, man. If she's dead, I'm going to be really bummed. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... Oh, okay. Oh. No, that's what we... That's what was in the flash forward that we saw. Oh, right. I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife buried in their stomach up to the hill. W -w what the... Are they really dead? For sure, but... Who is it? All right, we got our Scooby-Doo moment. What? Oh, no. Oh, it's like the second part of chapter five, I guess. Oh, okay. Sure. Be alive, Kyoko. <laughs> Just to make things clear, to the dead, dead, there's a dead man. Last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're a dead man. Where Do they think whoever plays this game gets hit on the head every 30 minutes and forgets everything they've seen? <laughs> yeah, the jacket's on backwards now, though. Ah, or yeah. not on at all. It looks like it's just placed over the body. Or or it's just a robe. I think it might I think it might not be on the body actually. Yeah, it might just be laid yeah. over. I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. <laughs> I told you there's a cult hanging out here! Are they are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? Sorry, I had to clear my throat. <laughs> it, it it's really hitting me hard. The Four or fifteenth time I've seen this. <laughs> you need to begin looking around right away. 
However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Yeah. yeah, check the body first, maybe. Hey, what's up? We need to find out who this actually is, but there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. We'll never know! Oh, God, who go Yeah. And the- is that a pair of scissors next to there? Oh, I guess it's like the tie on the mask. And the white yeah. coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. Jeez, <laughs> they're, man. They're wearing Kyoko's shoes, aren't they? Well, one thing I yeah, do I know... Yeah, I think so. ...is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they wind up dead in, in here? Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. What could it mean? <laughs> Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. Pink. Or pink. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. And it's hot. And sweet. And tight. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. It may be acidic. But then you'll have yucky fingers. <laughs> How could you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? How can you tell? Well, I think I see the outline of her chest and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Let's just tear the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, don't. <laughs> that would be too easy. That wouldn't be hilarious. <laughs> By the time he called oh, out, right. it was already too late. Toko's hand shot toward the mask. Thank God. And in the next instant... Yeah, right. Whoa! Whoa! It was a Whoa! It was a blinding light, a deafening roar. The body blew up. It 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 blew up. Oh, man. I guess Toko's dead now. My vision Maybe. started to darken. I prepared to pass out, but then... Hurry up. Put out the fire. As my I'm already bored. <laughs> As my consciousness Yuck attempted it. to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. Come on, dump the water on it. You do it. Boy, I'll he stand is here and the watch. The coldest, <laughs> most heartless motherfucker. Oh my god, did um, did Toko get blown up into the man-eating plant? Oh my god. Hilarious. Because she was headed, like, right up there in that picture. That's so funny. Okay. That'd be awesome. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Sploosh. Sploosh. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. Oh, so... Totally... Undiscernible now? Dang it! <laughs> I guess that took care of it. What the hell, man? It exploded? What did you say? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body. Hot toddy. It's burnt to it's burnt to a crisp! That's beyond well done, man. I would send that back. <laughs> Don't compare it to a steak, I'll never be able to eat steak again. Alright. <laughs> but now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? Aren't we wasting time? <laughs> who isn't here right now? Huh? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. Oh, sure. Um... Yeah, well, I mean, there's three people here. No, there's four people here, and there were uh, six of us, so... Uh, um... Counting the secret person. It's Kyoko. Kyoko! I mean, not... I mean, why would they yeah, do not this if it was just Kyoko? Then yeah, that dead body is Kyoko? No, that can't be right. Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. And I'm the man. <laughs> but, I mean, who else? There is one other person. The mastermind. What? The mastermind? Come on, there's no way. The mastermind got char broiled. Get serious. Get bigger <laughs> hands. I agree. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have no reason to... Uh, but I do... Uh, I have reason to believe it may be true. <laughs> Woof. 
The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? Huh? But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? That's you, bud. Oh, so that, that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. Sorry, it, it took me a while to remember the voice. <laughs> <laughs> the same voice as every other girl. <laughs> and according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. Seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. What the heck? Or I guess every other girl you thought was a girl when the game started. Oh. Uh. Yes. He said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then that mean th then could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? Uh, Mukuro Ikusaba. You know, the thing that everyone's been trying to keep secret, but I'm just saying out loud now for no reason. The yeah. 16th student well, at yeah. Hope's Peak. What? what are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. So I probably shouldn't be saying this. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, uh, all Kyoko told me was... If you poop in a bowl of fresh... <laughs> <laughs> Sixteenth student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Okay. <laughs> She'll blow up on you. <laughs> it sounded like Kyoko thinks Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. I see. <laughs> There's another student here, and it's a female that would match the body's characteristics. And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, M Mukuru, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair? If she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot... How'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? Well, she exploded. Oh... None of this makes any sense! To just suddenly show up and then die? That's fucking rude! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Leave a note or something! <laughs> I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah, hey, wait! What? Um... Are we forgetting something, you know, Togo? Oh yeah, she got totally blown up, huh? Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. Wow, Byakya. <laughs> Spoken like a great- Ah, uh, no! She's alive! <laughs> oh, she survived! <laughs> oh, she survived. <laughs> huh? What just happened, master? You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. Oh, so now I can examine stuff? All right. Yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> right now I have to focus on the body. Okay. I should take a close look at the body one more time. Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. D don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, after all. Okay. Oh. Oh. Huh. Well. There's something next to the body, it's... It's a key? Is it what Kyoko took from Monokuma? But what did you steal? Oh. oh. I stole this. Sorry. A key? <laughs> but looking at it, I couldn't... I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It's probably the only key on its kind on Earth. That's right. The key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Then this key is... Not the same <laughs> key. <laughs> what is it? Did you, <laughs> did you find something? Yeah. This was on the ground near the body but it doesn't look anything like the Monokuma key. 
You have no idea what I'm talking I, about, do you? I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? My heart? <laughs> yeah. A BMW 7 Series. So even <laughs> you don't know then? Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Huh? That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... The Bib Lab, the Data Center, the Headmaster's Room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now? I refuse! Oh, <laughs> so what? Oh, okay. Alright, I guess... I guess we're going to check out those places and things. But... Will we do it next time on Game Grooms? That's a great idea. <laughs> yes. Yes, we will do it next time on Game Grooms. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Alright then. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone! Oof, man, the plot thickens. Without actually getting any thicker. Like, mm. I have no oh, idea oh, what's yeah. happening. This, is, this makes no sense.